Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how you can set the program defaults as well as the file defaults in KDE Plasma 5. So to start off, let's deal with the default applications. To get to the default application area in KDE, open up your application menu, type in defaults, and open up the def default application menu. From here, you can go through and uh, set defaults. So let's start off. I don't use Kmail, so I'm going to use a different email client, and I can click here, go to internet, find my preferred email application, which is Thunderbird, click OK, click apply. I can then go to file manager. I have an option to choose a different file manager. I like the Dolphin one, but if you want to use a different one, you go ahead and check any of these boxes and uh, click apply. Terminal emulator. I prefer console. If you want a different terminal emulator as your default, you can click use a different terminal program. Type in the name of this terminal app. So let's say that you like uh, Terminator. You can type in Terminator like that, and it should launch exactly that way. Xterm, you can use Xterm and uh, any other application. I prefer console, so I'm going to stick with console. Web browser, that's another thing. I have a uh, I have a mixed I have mixed feelings on this one because KDE opens things depending on how they are, you know, the base of the contents of it. If you just want everything to open up in Firefox, you can just select in the following application, click apply. You can also change the browser to Conqueror, Bookmark Editor, or if you want to use it in a different application, you can always go through and set the browser that way. And that's how you set the application defaults. As for program default or file defaults, excuse me, you're going to need to do this with the Dolphin File Manager. And you can do that by clicking the menu, type in Dolphin, open that up. Now, in my in my article, we're also going to be going over how to change the defaults for a lot of different program defaults through the terminal editor. But in this video here, we're just covering the basics stuff that can be explained through the KDE environment. But if you want even more information on how to change every single default, please check the link in the description. So I'm going to show you an example of how this works, and this can be done with pretty much everything. So let's go to my wallpaper folder. So I'm in my wallpaper folder, and now my default for opening pictures on KDE as of now is Gwenview. So this JPEG, if I click on it, is going to open up with Gwenview. Now, if I don't like this and I don't want all JPEGs to open this way, I can quickly click on the picture with my right, with the, I can quickly right click on the picture and click properties. From there, I can go to file type options and I can click this and then I can see application preference. If I don't like one view, I can quickly go here and click this to move up so it goes to ocular instead. So now if I go, it should automatically open up with ocular and I can view my pictures with this. If I want to change it to another application, I can go to file type options again. I can set it to say GIMP and set that as a default. And that means that when I open up any JPEG, it will auto open with GIMP. And you can do this with any file. So if you want to change the defaults of, let's say, zip archives, you don't want it to open up with ARC. You can click properties, file type options, and you can add a different application. I don't have anything else that extracts stuff, but if I did, I could set it that way, and it works with ISOs. It works with every little file that you could possibly want to use. For example, K3B. If we don't want to use K3B, say we want to open it with ARC, move it up here, click Apply. Now this is going to open with ARC, and so forth. So that's how you set file type defaults. And uh, as always, like I said before, there's a write-up in the description. Please check that out. It goes into detail more about file type options and uh, application defaults that you can edit with the terminal if you're not a fan of how KDE does it. But this is how you can change application and program defaults in KDE Plasma. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.